Welcome back, and uh, we're continuing our interview with Father Maximus El Antonioni from uh, the Monastery of St. Anthony in uh, the Red Sea. Uh, Father, um, before uh, the um, break, we were talking about uh, uh, different things. We were talking about the celebration of Christmas, we were talking about the monastery itself, and we were talking about the life of uh, St. Anthony. And I wanted to ask you, now, uh, as monks, is celebrating Christmas different than in the regular churches or not? Uh, the, uh, the ritual uh, practice for the uh, Christmas Eve is the same. I mean, we are celebrating mm -hmm. the uh, night prayer and the Mass and ended by the uh, beginning of the 7th of January. And then after that, all the monks that Together we have what we call it a rabbi, they mm -hmm. eat together mm -hmm. after the celebration and then in the morning they gather and they read something about the birth of Christ mm -hmm. and then uh, they have some drinks and this is how uh, we celebrate the, uh, the Christmas in the monastery. Father, I understand that there are certain principles and important rules to become a monk and uh, uh, that it's not just prayers, but there are so many other things associated with this. Uh, so would you tell us a bit about that, please? Yes, of course, there is rules before uh, following the monastery and then uh, there is other rules if uh, mm -hmm. we accepted anybody to be in the monastery or the monk. Uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, to think about why the one who would like to be a monk, why he would like to be a monk. Mm -hmm. uh, how is thinking about monasticism? Mm -hmm. How is thinking about the, uh, the people, the society? Do he love the society or not? Mm -hmm. Do he is escaping from the society or not? Or he is looking for better life? far from the society uh, and from any disturbance. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what we call it the, the first test for anybody who would like to, to, to uh, follow the monastery. We think about this and we look inside uh, the one and uh, if we found that he had the, the right thinking and he is a normal man. Normal man means he is very successful, he is not escaping from the society, he has a good uh, relation with the family, with the people, uh, he is serving God in a good way, all the things. If we find that he is really a uh, reasonable one who could be a monk, we accept him to be a novice. Mm -hmm. Novice means he can stay for something like three years in the monastery uh, to test himself and to test the monastic life and in the same time the monks and the head of the monastery see his uh, life uh, is he a, a good one to follow the monasticism or not and then uh, if they ordained him to be a monk he, he had uh, uh, of course uh, to offer himself to God means he uh, should live in a poor life because he chewed that life he should uh, live in obedience, which means he should uh, follow uh, his the spiritual guide. And then at the same time, he should know that he will not be married at all till the end of his life. And he should know that this is the end of his life in the monastery. And this is why we have the cemetery or the, the tomb of the monks inside the monastery, because the end of the life of the monks will be inside the monastery. Father Maximus, we ran out of time, but I need a one word from you. The life of a monk, is it easy or is it hard? Of course, uh, for everybody, uh, the life could be easy, could be hard. Could be easy if we uh, are following uh, the right rules of the life, and it will be hard if we leave the rules of the life. And it uh, will be easy also if we have a guidance in the life. Without guidance, it will be very difficult for everybody, not only for the monks. But uh, we can say that the, the monk's life is very good and uh, very peaceful and uh, very fruitful and uh, because we are living uh, alone uh, with the God and this is the best life which you can live in. 
Well, I'd like to thank you very much. As Dina mentioned, thank you very much, uh, Father Maximus Al-Antoni. Thank you very much for this interview, especially that you've come specially from the area of the Red Sea and from the monastery to meet us. So thank you very much, and uh, Happy New Year, and, of course, Merry Christmas. Thank you for uh, Nile TV, and uh, Merry Christmas to uh, Nile TV, and Merry Christmas to all the Egyptians. Thank you, sir. And uh, now we're moving to a quick break, so please stay tuned.